With the third pick in the 2020 NBA Draft, the Charlotte Hornets select LaMelo Ball from Chino Hills, California. Every basket LaMelo Ball scores is plus one upgrade. I have recreated LaMelo Ball in NBA 2K23, and this build replicates LaMelo Ball the most out of any build on the game. As you guys can see, our LaMelo Ball build is called an Inside Out Playmaker. And by the end of this video, this LaMelo Ball build is going to be a demigod. Really quick, 95% of y'all that watch my videos every single day are not subscribed. If you happen to be one of those people, click that subscribe button now and turn on my post notifications because every single video I'm giving away one copy of NBA 2K24. Congratulations to DoesSimp3780. You have won my NBA 2K24 giveaway. My boy said clutch. I won't lie. I just started watching you at 500k subs, but you quickly became my favorite YouTuber. So I just want to thank you for making amazing content and I'll be here when you hit 1 mil. I love you, bro. I appreciate the kind words. You have won my NBA 2K24 giveaway. If you guys want a chance to win NBA 2K24 just like that, all you have to do is follow the rules that are on the screen and then come back to my next video to see if you have won. If you want to win NBA 2K24 just like that, all you have to do is follow the rules on the screen. You must be subscribed to the channel, you must have my post notifications turned on, and you must be following me on Instagram. When you have done all three rules, all you have to do is comment done on this video and I'll be picking one lucky winner. But please be safe out there and do not get scammed by a fake clutch account. To know if it is really me commenting under your comment, I have a gray check mark next to my name. Good luck to everyone who enters and like I said, this is every single video. I'll be giving away one copy up until NBA 2K24. We are playing against Double H, and he is a level 25, 66 overall. Our first game is extremely promising. And uh, we are a 60 overall LaMelo Ball. This game, I have to score at least a minimum of five buckets. Like five buckets, that's all I need. I would be cool with that. He jumped. Play, let's go. We are now a 61 overall LaMelo Ball build. We're gonna have to get creative and stuff in the paint because um, it's pretty easy to stop a 60 overall, right? Nope. Oh, I got the board. Oh, he's out of bounds. Oh, Lay, I got nope. inside. No, give me a steal. Wait, that's my ball. Let's go. It's my ball. Let's go. All right, Harper. I understand you know I'm a 60 overall, but like the camping in the paint is just unnecessary, bro. Like, please let me, um, Oh shit, LaMelo! No, get the board! He jumped! Lay! No, get the board! Go up! That's Lay! Let's go! Come on, baby! 62 overall, just like that! Hey, this Double H Jr. is not him! Harper, you ass, gang! You ass, gang! You ass, gang! I don't care, I'm gonna get my rebound! Oh, really, dude? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! I just realized I forgot to equip my badges again. Why do I do this every time? And he's in takeover? Oh, hell no, bruh. How is this kid in takeover? He's a 66 overall, and he only has six points, bro. How? Yo, get off my nuts. <gasps> Let's go. Come on, LaMelo. Let's go. Come on, baby. That's another lay. Yeah, me too, dummy. All right, this is scary. Oh, my God. No. Everybody just fucking rips me, dude. Like, I understand you're in lock take, but chill, bro. Kids really get takeover, and they're complete ass, but they turn into, like, demigods just because they in take. Like, it's insane. Came to realization that a 66 overall is just gonna outdo a 60 overall. Like, obviously, it should. Um, And he's in lock takeover, so it's gonna be extremely difficult. <laughs> Like, do y'all see what I'm talking about? It's gonna be difficult. Like, bro, takeover last an eternity. Like, I could fucking, I don't even know. Go to sleep, wake up, and this bitch will still be in ta- <laughs> Yo, he might foul out. Oh, jump, please, lay. Let's go. Come on, LaMelo, I'm locked in right now. We're fighting this kid out because we cannot let this kid win. We cannot let this kid win. This is a really good first start. We already have eight points. That's amazing. We're just trying to finesse any bucket we can right now. Oh, he jumped! Let's go! No, I'm actually locked in. He's still in takeover, which I don't know how he's not getting a stop on me. I'm just different as a 60 overall. Look at me. Hold up. What 60 overall is dribbling like this, though? Please run out of takeover. Hurry. He ran out. Euro step. Nope. Fuck. Oh, this is the best position we can be in. He is no longer in takeover. LaMelo Ball is about to turn up and drop this kid off first game. I don't think I've ever won my first game except using the Victor Wembanyama build when it comes to this type of challenge video. Okay. Okay, come on, LaMelo. We got to get creative, bro. I'm going to drop step. Play. Oh. oh bro, I'm telling you, I get every board. No. I got inside. I got inside. 
Oh my god. Let's fucking go, LaMelo. Come on. That's seven buckets in our first game. I don't know how I even scored there, but we got to take it. Because at this point, he jumped. Oh, how do I miss that? Like, what? Yo, yo, just look at our box score. He has four fouls. This game has been going on for a fucking hours. Like, no way he gets another steal. There is no way this game is real. This kid has so many steals, and he's only a 66 overall. It's not like this kid has a 99 fucking steal with Hall of Fame pickpocket. Like, what the fuck is going on, bro? And the fact that I'm cold with 14 points, 26 rebounds is the most... Stop! How does he get every steal? Bro, this game makes no sense. After somehow scoring seven times in our first game, we can now be a 67 overall. And the first thing I need on my LaMelo ball build is my three-point shot. From the jump, I want to be an offensive threat from three. And uh, that's what I need to upgrade immediately. We're going to have an 83 three-point shot as a 67 overall. I think this is the best way to go. And uh, let's send it. Yo, we're loading into our second game. And this guy has no pants on. What the? Oh, no. Hey, yo, pause. What the? Bro, I'm playing a naked ass my player. What is this, bro? Like, what the? Yo, I'm. Yo! This is the craziest thing I think I've ever seen on 2K. Like, why is bro naked? You look good on camera, baby. Let's go make a film. What do you mean by that? I'm kidding. What the fuck? Yo, oh, oh, he's ass. He's bad. He. He green that and that's a huh? wide open. Yeah, okay. Okay. Now that's actually sad. Or that. All we need is one stop. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now we have our three point shot upgraded to an 83 overall. If he leaves us open at the three, I'm pulling. Oh, I have no stamina whatsoever. We have no stamina. I think the next thing I need to upgrade is my stamina. Oh, 26% contested layup. Hey, give me two, dummy. Come on now. Yo, why are you playing me high, bro? Like, I'm a 67 overall, bro. I bet. Let me just uh accelerate past you with my 20 speed. <gasps> He's out of bounds. Let's go. Come on, baby. That's two quick lays. Go down, I dare you. Go down, I dare you. I'm going to shoot the ball. Wait, he's not even... Come on. Kobe. Oh, come on, LaMelo. Oh, I missed my first three. This is what I don't understand, dude. You did not do anything special to get this takeover. Like, you didn't do shit. Oh, my God. That was a good move. I'll give it to you. That was a good move, you know? A spin straight to a dunk. But I know you're going to mess up again. Don't get too confident. Don't get too cocky on yourself. Don't get too cocky. I'm telling you, this kid's going to mess up. Bro, what? Why does he green these every single time? Come on, please. Bro, what the... Bro, he doesn't miss this hop jumper three-pointer. Like, is that, like, the new way to shoot threes or something? Like, bro, what? If he greens this again, I might have to... Bro, like, this kid got a zen. No, this kid literally has a zen. No, 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 no. This kid literally has a zen. This is stupid. He has greened the exact same shot more than... Yo, he's got a zen. Hey, even though we only scored two points, it's going to help us out. So now we can become a 69 overall. You know, what a goaded number. I think what we need to do immediately is get our stamina upgraded. And that only gave us one overall. So we can keep upgrading something. The next thing I want to upgrade is my driving layup. We missed too many layups for me to not upgrade driving layups. So that's what we're exactly doing. We now have a 69 overall LaMelo Ball build. Hopefully we don't play another naked my player, but let's run this back. LaMelo Ball is my favorite player in the NBA. Let me know in the comments down below who your favorite NBA player is. It could be all time. It could be current. Let me know who you guys rock with in the NBA. Shout out my boy LaMelo. Oh, yo, yo, Forever Keith 987. Yo, hey, listen, y'all might have to message Forever Keith. You honestly might make LaMelo look good this game. Like real shit. And we don't have anything upgraded. We are a 69 overall. We got our three point shot. So uh, Keith, let me see that defense. All right. I need to see if your defense is there or not. Come on, LaMelo. Come on, LaMelo. Give me three, dummy. Yes, sir. Come on. Oh, where are you going? Lay her. Come on. We upgraded that lay. We're not going to miss any layups anymore. We need one stop, Keith. Oh, yeah. That's the shot I, I like to see, bro. Good shot. Keep it up. Matter of fact, every time you get the ball, just do the exact same thing, all right? Ooh, we going all the way, Keith. You got to meet me at the rim. Hey. I got to green another three, bro. Like, I literally have to. But Keith is low-key playing valid defense out at the press. You jump. Stupid. You can't jump on me, little bro. That's just a free lay. It's a free lay. You can't do that. We're almost a takeover. Ooh. Ooh, I got Keith to the cycle with the dunk off two. I need to get a bucket, bro. We're so close to takeover. Oh, he didn't jump that time. He learned his lesson. That's a two. Yes, sir. One off takeover, and we could potentially break Keith's ankles. You know how crazy that would be? Breaking an ankle with literally nothing for real. Like we have no ball handle, no badges for it. Damn, bro. No, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna green a three right here. We gotta green a three right here though. 
Huh, I lied. He's on my tip. Pause. Lay her. Give me two. That's takeover. Keith is making the craziest comeback of all time. If I lose to forever Keith, I might be the most down bad 2K player of all time. Ain't no way that goes in. He gets his own rebound. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. Come on. Terrible take. Come on. Let's do something, Keith. Come on. I got to break you right here. I got to break you right here, gang. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Come on. Step back. Come on. He be on my ass for real. He's not letting me shoot the ball. I'm going to just take my two every single time. Oh. Oh, yeah. Give me two. That's an easy baseline. Yes, sir. That's 19 points. We need one more bucket to win this game. And we have scored nine times already. So we are looking... Oh my god, there it is. Come on, snatch back right there. Oh, come on, step back for game for three. LaMelo! Cut the camera, cut the camera. What, what did LaMelo say? Cut the camera, cut the camera, cut the camera. What the fuck was this? Yo, LaMelo, what, what are you doing, game? I got a green and three for game. Right there, that's game. Get off the court. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go! That's 10 upgrades just off that one game. After scoring 10 times in our last game, that means we are now going to be able to be a 79 overall, if my math is correct. First thing I want to do is get my mid-range shot and then my three-point shot all the way maxed out so now I can shoot from anywhere on the floor. Next thing I need to upgrade is my driving dunk because every single time I run to the rim, we're taking a weak-ass layup. The next thing I need for sure is my acceleration because we are extremely slow and acceleration is what makes us fast. Then the rest of my stats is going to go on perimeter defense until we can not use any more and this is our 79 overall lamello ball build 155 kvc down the drain all we need is 11 more buckets and we are maxed out on our lamello ball build <laughs> Hey, bro, we played a kid named Bot. Literally, Bot. Like, nah, it's crazy. What's a video without a clutch story time? Guys, we have another crazy story time, and I hope you guys enjoy them. First things first, if y'all been enjoying my story times, do me a favor and drop a like on the video because I already know you guys are gonna like today's story time. The time me and nine other YouTubers almost got evicted from an Airbnb. Come on. Let's go, LaMelo. Started off with the two. Oh, yeah, I forgot we upgraded our mid-range. This is going to be great. Six seconds. He's not even guarding me at the three-point line. So you're making a mistake. Like, I'm not missing, bro. That's our second this game. Come on. <laughs> Yo, this kid just can't get a rebound. This is too funny, bro. Now, this story takes place a year ago in Destin, Florida. A group of nine of us went down to Destin, and it was actually really fun. A few people on the trip that you guys might know is Double H, Solo, Supreme, Chad. And there was a total of nine of us, right? We were just going down there for an entire week rented out an airbnb beachfront it was super fun and it was amazing like i said we rented out a house because we had a lot of people and that was just the best way to go now if you guys have ever been on airbnb you guys know a lot of the rules are strict as they should it is somebody else's house and you have to respect everything they have on the rules because you know at the end of the day if something goes wrong that is their house and they are using that to make money and if there's stuff that's broken and shit they're not going to be making their money so you really can't mess around you just got to respect everything with inside and use it for what it is and that's just to sleep for real oh my god he did not just try a self alley-oop and fail miserably this shit just hit the bottom of the backboard so we're on like day seven of nine on this trip and let me just tell y'all we've been using this house to the fullest every single night we are up super late listen to music the neighbors are probably ready for us to like just leave at this point everybody's probably tired of us we'd be out in the pool till like 2 3 a.m just destroyed and we'd be making hella noise and y'all know how annoying that could be for other people that are around in the area if you guys don't remember the story time in lebron james video to refresh your memory i was doing irl videos right this is where it all started where me and solo started recording irl videos in destin florida one of the videos solo had planned we were gonna do some like basketball shootout but the loser had to like dump hella shit on him if they lost Oh, I'm inside of oh, fuck, bro. Fuck! And this is where everything goes wrong. Now, this was a really fun video. Oh my god, if we got that ankle breaker, I would have freaked out. Woo Damn! That was clean. Now, y'all can't lie. That was clean, bro. Coming from LaMelo, that was clean, bro. Real shit, that was clean. So we did this basketball challenge, and the person who shot the worst had to get a whole bunch of shit dumped on him. Like hella ingredients and stuff. Like a boy Jay Curry had lost, so we had to dump all these ingredients that we bought from the store on bro's head. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. That is bad. <laughs> oh. Oh. Holy shit. That is a lot. That is a lot. Oh my god. Yo. Oh my god. That is crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> 
Is it still going? Like, what? It's fucking squirting. Oh my god. Oh my god. That smells gross. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Oh. Oh, fuck no. Oh, fuck no. Oh my god. I can't, I can't. It smells crazy. Is it beanstalk? Bro, the smell over here is crazy. You're the top, the top. More on the top. Oh my god. This is crazy. This is crazy. Oh my god. This is, I actually like might throw up. I might throw up, but Oh my god. That is crazy. Oh my god! Oh my god! Bro, it's beans everywhere! Now like I said, this is day 7 of 9, so we only have a few more days left. But if you guys don't know, a lot of these Airbnb owners actually have cameras so they can see what's going on and nothing stupid's going down. Like what we were doing, something stupid. Now there was a field next to us, but I don't know what Solo was thinking. Bro just said, fuck it, let's do it right here on the front fucking porch. So we start dumping all of these nasty ass ingredients on this concrete, bro. We had, we had this thin ass tarp, I think. I don't even know, it was trash bags maybe. I can't recall. Maybe you guys will see it in the video. It's probably trash bags and I might sound stupid right now. Yeah, I don't even think we had a tarp. Bro, it's beans. Yeah. So we start pouring one ingredient at a time. I remember there was one like one gallon thing of baked beans. There was flour. There was like olive oil. There was like a whole bunch of nasty shit you just never want to have dumped on you, right? None of us really thought to go to the field to dump everything on Jay Curry at the time. So we were like, fuck it. Let's just do it right here, right? We didn't really see the ring camera that this guy had placed on his Airbnb. So later that day, after everything goes down, we decided we wanted to go hoop. So while we were out playing basketball, my buddy Will, who booked the Airbnb, received this text and this is the craziest thing we had ever seen. The text literally said, we have gotten many calls of the service in this house and i am in the unit right now and you have got about 15 minutes to get to this unit or 30 minutes to get to this house because of the damage that you have caused on the porch inside of this home is unacceptable you got 30 minutes to call so we are on a ticking time bomb thankfully my buddy will looked at his phone because look this is day seven of nine if we would have gotten evicted literally two days before we leave this airbnb bro nine youtubers would have been homeless in Destin. Like this shit was crazy. You got to put it in perspective. We are literally traveling to the gym. Have no worry in the world of nothing bad is going down. And then we get this text message saying, come to the house in 15 to 30 minutes or else you are evicted out of this house. Just put yourself in our shoes, bro. We literally almost got evicted because my boy Solo wanted to make this video and put all the fucking shit on the porch. That is where everything went wrong, bro. I got footage of this man having to clean everything up. Lock in, get What? what? <laughs> Gotta clean the up the mess. Oh, wait, did he rent it? Can you hold it? Did so you rent it or buy it? literally had to sit in this fucking house wait for the airbnb owner to walk in it was crazy bro i'm gonna put a whole bunch of footage on the screen but this is the time we almost got evicted bro if y'all enjoy these type of stories and want to hear more stories like this all you gotta do is drop a like on the video this is definitely my last game and then we're gonna be maxed out oh my god Lamelo, you got this man ho, ho, ho. <gasps> you got this man fried hey yo pierre you want to come out here five four three two what buzzer beater yes sir but looking back the craziest part about that whole like eviction thing is like what would have really happened if nine youtubers got evicted out of an airbnb like realistically like would we have just had to book another one for like a day and a half like there's no way no way we're finding a nine airbnb space place that can just nah bro i don't know but that would have been a crazy ass experience shit you know my ass i would have been fine with just sleeping at waffle house or some shit you know they all nice people over there um i fuck with the food you feel me so like I'd be straight. I wouldn't even be mad at that, to be honest. Like, 48-hour challenge head ass. Nah, I'm dead. Okay, LaMelo, turn up there, my boy. 
That's green. You can't leave me open like that, bro. You just can't. That is just disrespectful, man. You can't do it. Y'all, you jump. For a game, get off my court. If you guys want a chance to win NBA 2K24, all you gotta do is follow the rules on the screen. It's so simple. You guys have to be subscribed to my channel. You must have my post notifications turned on and you must be following me on Instagram. Once you guys have followed the rules, all you have to do is comment done and I'll be selecting a winner in my next video. And if you guys enjoyed today's story time, don't forget to drop a like on the video and I will see you all in the next one. Hey, if y'all boys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys check out the brand new video on the screen. And if you guys don't follow my Instagram or Twitter, go do that right now. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.